Farewell, mortal. Wait, so where are we after all? What is a sci-fi place? It's just the underworld. Oh, we're going backwards. <gasps> oh, we're in the temple. The ruins of the temple. The obelisk, gone. Oh, the, the walkways are gone. Oh. Uh, hi there. Gave me a bit of a fright. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Al Worth? I came in here to find you. Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. I'm Walensius. Oh, did that lady in the forest send you in here after me? I guess I lost track of time learning about the history of this place, and it is extraordinary. I'm fairly certain you and I are the first people to set foot in this city for about 2,000 years. Fortunately for us, the last person in here was a Roman man named Galerius, who inscribed an account into a tablet. Apparently, there was a community of 20-something people trapped in here, and living in fear of a curse they called the Golden Rule. They believed that if even one person sinned, an unknown god would cast them all into gold like the thousand people who'd lived here before them. Then, one day, just as Galerius had finished praying for a good harvest at the shrine of Proserpina, an oracle appeared and told him how to solve the ills of the city, like saving the life of a dying woman, preventing the suicide of a man in debt bondage, freeing a falsely accused prisoner, foiling an assassination attempt, and so on. Meanwhile, the oracle walked up to the temple of the mysterious god, this one right here, and demanded an audience. And the doors just opened up to her. Nobody knows what went on in there, but Galerius wrote the oracle must have been more persuasive than Odysseus, because the next thing he knew, the ground shook, and the voice of that god rang out over the city. The many have suffered long enough. Unfortunately, mm. Galerius' account just sort of stops after that, leaving a lot of questions unanswered. What became of him and the other people who lived here? What happened to all the golden statues? And did this mysterious oracle single-handedly undo the curse that had terrorized people for hundreds of years? My name is not even in the records this time, but oh, knowing that Pluto said that, because you know every time we break the rule, a thundering voice sounds out, the many shall suffer for the sins of one, and now this time for the last time he's sounding out, the many have suffered long enough. Oh, man, hearing that is a bit, oh, mm, sounds a bit far-fetched. I don't know, it reads like an earnest account to me. Anyway, I think I found a way out through the aqueduct that brought water into the city. Follow me. I'm right behind you. We didn't get to see the rest of the city. Hmm. So we didn't get trapped in the cistern. Oh, because... Because we were in the Great Temple, so we could have just gone down to the cistern area. I'm gonna pause here for a moment and make sure nobody else is ever lured into this temple. Why? <laughs> Good idea. You go on ahead, and I'll be there soon. Looks the same. Got nothing. <sighs> Is this really it? A little bit sad because we spend all the time trying to save all these people and even making Galerius and Equitia get together. And we got to know some of the people pretty well. But we did a thing to save them that they don't even recognize as being my doing. A little bit bittersweet. To them, they don't even have any memory of me. But I'll remember my time here. It was... Whew, it was vexing, but definitely a journey. So Pluto leaves. Proserpinam. Proserpin... If she's human, if she's mortal, then she would be dead by now, too. 
You're back! But... you're alone. Does that mean you didn't find Al? I found him. He'll be here in a moment. Oh, what a relief. Thank you so much. I was beginning to think you'd both become trapped in there. Why don't you tell me what you discovered? While we wait. I discovered you're not who you said you were. I remember meeting you. 2,000 years ago. Ah, I see. I thought you might. Well, now you know. I suppose you have questions. Who are you, really? You can just call me Charon, if you like. I am sorry I was not completely honest with you when we first met. I do not enjoy deceiving people. Believe me, I do not. But I have learned, from 5,000 years of experience, that most people find comfort in familiarity, in gradual change, and coming to see the truth in their own time. Actually, your little Golden Rule program should have stopped with Galerius being the last batch. So why were Al and I brought here? What truth is that? That you died, of course. You were dead when I brought you here. My role, as the servant of the God of the Underworld, has always been to assist the Chosen to cross the threshold from the land of the living to the land of the dead. How did I die? Hmm. Usually, when people do not remember how they die. Yeah, we've seen this. It is because most souls ask your. I suppose not. A wise decision. All you need to know is that you and Al died in possession of a sacred silver coin. Pluto said the coins Al and I had were the last in existence. What does that mean for you? It means... I am now bereft of purpose. There is nobody else to ferry here. Nobody to keep you company. After 5,000 years, the Underworld has finally run its course. What's so special about these coins? Perhaps you have heard the tales of the Greeks and Romans bearing their dead with a coin in their mouths to pay the ferryman for passage across the river. Well, those stories contained a seed of truth, but I think not we've already heard all this too. Would do. A long time ago, my orders were simple. Yes, Pluto mentioned that my coin was a last in existence. What does that mean for you? It means I am now bereft of purpose. You're jobless. There is nobody else to ferry here. Nobody to keep you company. After 5,000 years, the Underworld has finally run its course. Can you return us to the land of the living? I see no point in keeping you here. But I have to ask one thing. That you keep this to yourself. Look! Here comes Al now! Al! It's so good to see you. You were gone so long I thought I'd never see you again kind of lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a you long a forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing an oracle who confronted a god and undid an ancient curse. Sounds like quite a story. And I look forward to hearing all about it. But you two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in my boat and rest while I ferry you back to civilization? Sounds good to me. And you? Are you ready to go home? I guess so. All right, Charon, bury us home. Oh? One year later, we're at a museum. Hey, this door looks like a Roman door. <laughs> How are we escaping? What? What is with this arrow? Private member wing, currently exhibiting ancient Rome, Greece, Egypt, and Sumer. Right up our alley. Maybe they'll depict the oracle. Hey, 
Hey, you made it. It's great to see you again. I read your book, and what the critics said about it. I guess they weren't ready for your theories about the underworld. Anyway, after everything you've been through, I thought you might appreciate some good news. So after we got back to the real world, I started doing some research into the people mentioned in Galerius' tablet, and I found something strange. I'm sorry I've been so cryptic. I've been dying to tell you, I just really wanted you to see this for yourself. Why don't you head on down there? I'll catch up with you at the other end. Did you find a mention of me? <laughs> I have a Roman name! I'm Valencius! <laughs> The four civilizations. Yeah, the Romans. Egypt. And what are all those, like, numbers, though? One, two... Twenty... Four. Hmm. An ancient Roman statue of an unknown man in an inscrutable pose. One hand seems to welcome, and the other warns. Oh, hello. What? You're finally here. Remember me? Galerius, what are you doing here? It's a crazy story. After you disappeared, Charon appeared and told us she was returning us to the world. Even gave us some coins to help us start our lives over. Only, for some reason, she returned us to your world instead of ours. Anyway, I know we only ever had oh. that one conversation, and I wasn't even sure if you'd remember me, but I wanted to say thanks for freeing us from the underworld and giving us a second chance at life. It's been a year, so you've integrated into society now, and you're wearing like a modern shirt and everything. Oh. What are you doing with yourself these days? Oh, I used Karen's gift to buy a farm in Umbria. Got a villa on it, too. With enough room for Dooley, of course. Aww. It's hard work, but I sleep soundly every night. I'm finally my own man, and I... I wouldn't change it for the world. You're with Equitia now? I know! I can't believe my luck either. But we're engaged and living together. We're planning to get oh married my God. next spring. If you're gonna be around, we'd love to see you there. Whoa, you guys have integrated so quickly! I'd love that, count me in. It was good to see you again, Galerius. Of course. There's a whole museum full of people waiting for a chance to <gasps> thank you. So you better keep moving. We'll speak again soon, my friend. Oh, This is so fan service -y, but you know what? There's a reason why they call it fan service, because the fans love it. <laughs> oh. They were like, hey, remember having this in our city oh, last year? <laughs> there she is. You're here. It's lovely to finally meet you. Galerius told me all about you. Good to see you too, Equitia. So, you're the hero who somehow vanquished the last of the Roman gods. As I'm a priestess, you realize you've put me out of work. I'm just teasing. Actually, and it still feels a little sacrilegious to say this, I'm finding life after religion quite enjoyable. Hmm. Wow. Oh, a little bit sad though, because we've talked to all these people a lot, but Galerius might be the only person who really remembers me. What are you doing with yourself these days? Galerius and I are engaged and expecting. Oh my gosh. We just bought a lovely villa in the countryside with room for a large family and Dooley too, of course. It feels like the world has just opened up for us. There's so much to learn and so many more possibilities for our children than we ever imagined. We're just Aww. so thankful for what you did for us. For all of us. What about the golden statues? How's Livia? Oh, it's sweet of you to ask. She recovered nicely. In fact, she's here somewhere. If you'd like to ask her yourself. I'll do that. It was good to see you again, Ecotia. See you at the wedding, I hope. Yeah, you two have been busy. But do you need to change your Roman names, though? You kind of stick out a bit. Dooley! Hello, I'm Dooley. I remember who you are, Dooley. Galerius said you're very nice and a big helper. Thank you for getting us out of the bad place. 
I didn't like it. What are you doing with yourself these days? I live at Galerius and e Equitia's house. They look after me now and help me remember when I forget things, like brushing my teeth. <laughs> I'm sorry you never found your treasure. Treasure? Oh. It's you. I forgot about that. I like my box now. Galerius got me a box that tells stories. It's my favorite thing. Hannibal would be proud. Story boxes are great, aren't they? Yeah, they're fun. It was good to see you again, Dooley. Bye-bye. Oh, I love that these two are still taking care of him. Yeah, if he was by himself in this world, he might be struggling a bit. Especially with all the new stuff and the new language. Good job, guys. You guys are... You're not still speaking Latin, are you? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Office lady, Lucretia. Or, Yulia. You're... You're the Oracle, right? <laughs> well, Enzias is fine. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. And I never got a chance to thank you for telling Galerius how to save my life. And of course, getting me and all of us out of a terrible situation. Yulia will have a really easy time changing her name to fit in to the modern ages. Julia! <laughs> what are you doing these days? Oh, I barely recognize myself. I'm living in a house share in London with my wonderful girlfriend. And I'm studying English at university. Eventually, I want to travel the world and write about it. Turns out, it's about 30 times bigger than the Roman Empire ever was. Did you know there are entire continents Rome never knew existed? And you can travel almost anywhere in an aircraft, which is rather like flying on a Pegasus, but much more comfortable. Oh, sorry, you already know all that, of course. I'm just so excited. There's so much to see and learn and write about. What the hell? What? You can ride on Pegasuses? Pegasi? Hmm. <laughs> Seeing the world through fresh eyes sounds wonderful. I have noticed people from your time have no idea how fortunate they are. I hope to change that. One day. Is your girlfriend modern or Roman? Whatever happened to Maliolus and Claudia? Last I heard, Maliolus kept insisting he was the last rightful ruler of the Roman Empire and wound up being committed to a psychiatric hospital. As for Claudia, she was always so viciously unhappy. Someone says she'd blown all her money on wine, trying to drink herself back to the underworld. After the horrific way they treated Ulpius and me, I can't help feeling a sense of... What's that German word? Schadenfreude? <laughs> Sounds like they got what was coming to them. I couldn't agree more. I feel like if they really wanted to though, somebody could test Maliolus and Claudia's DNA to prove that, hey, they actually were from 2000 years ago. There's gotta be something different in the DNA, right? I assume. <laughs> Whatever happened to Aurelia? Ugh, someone told me she was boasting about getting her claws into some rich prince, and how she was going to be living the high life from now on. Even in your time, life still isn't fair. Apparently, he'd proposed before they'd even met. And last I heard, she'd bought herself a first-class one-way ticket to join him in some exotic place called... What was it? Nigeria? <laughs> some people have all the luck. Oh, no. Hmm. As the Oracle, I foresee terrible disappointment in her future. Really? Huh. I feel better already. Thank you. It was good to see you again, Yulia. You too! If you're ever in London, let me know. We can go to bars and drink wine and listen to the stories of the nine million people who live there. I'll take you up on that. I hope so. I'm not rich though, in present day, so you might have to buy my ticket for me. Lucretia! You are here. It's nice to finally meet you. Hey, Lucretia. Lucy is Hello. fine. I'm making an effort to blend in, as you can see. We are all trying to keep a low profile. If the world knew we died 2,000 years ago and were suddenly brought back to life 12 months ago, they'd never leave us alone. Speaking of which, 
I wanted to say thank you in person. I'd say the gods smile on you, but I hear you drove the last of them off. So... What are you doing with yourself these days? I'm studying to get into medical school. Aww. As much as I resented the responsibility of keeping everyone in the city alive, when it ended, I realized I missed it. So I guess I'll just keep saving the world, if begrudgingly, one patient at a time. It was good to see you, Lucy. You too. Don't be a stranger. Good. Blend in, blend in. The world is a cruel place for those who don't blend in. Evening. Is that your shield? <laughs> whoa, what's with the military hey. get up? Sentia, whoa, Sentia. Hello. Hi there, I'm Horatius. You were okay. Yeah, you were the guy who was leading me to Sentius, but I never took you up on the offer. <laughs> Hi, Horatius. I understand we have you to thank for giving us a second chance at life. And reuniting Santilla with us as well. So, thank you. What are you doing with yourself these days? I'm living up north and studying in the military academy in Modena. I'm going to be an officer one day. The world's changed a lot. But some things stay the same. Would you believe we're still studying military tactics from my time? Alexander the Great, Caesar, Hannibal Barker. Still, I have to keep challenging myself to let go of old ways of thinking and embrace the new. As Seneca wrote, the ones who pioneered our paths aren't our masters, but our guides. I'm sorry you never got to see your girl again. Ah, oh, you remembered that. Thank you. I grieved for a time, but that's done. In the words of Epictetus, as those who rode behind triumphant generals remind them they are mortal, remind yourself your precious one isn't one of your possessions, but something given for now, not forever. Well said. Thanks. Oh, and I don't know if you've heard, but a few of us are going for drinks later. It'd be nice to um, chat with you some more. Sounds good. I'll be there. Great. Horatius. Can we think of a more modern name for him? Howard or something. Whatever happened to your buddy, Domitius? He's not my... Oh, I see what you did there. Good one. He had more trouble adapting than most. He got himself disqualified from the UFC. So he started some kind of underground blood sport tournament, like we had in Rome. Suppose it appealed to people's baser instincts. And they say he made some good coin, killing a bunch of men like that. But his luck finally ran out, and his life along with it. You know what they say. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Sounds like he got what he deserved. Er, now let's be a little bit nicer. That's a shame. Hmm, perhaps. <laughs> it was good to see you again, Horatius. See you at drinks later, I hope. Yeah. Hey, Cynthia. I take it you're the Oracle. Thanks for coming. Wait, don't tell me Cynthia's is here. Good to see you again, Cynthia. Actually, I changed my name to Cynthia. I didn't want to be associated with Cynthius after what happened. I'm not sure if you heard, but after you drove Pluto off, Proserpina emerged from the Great Temple. She knew right away what none of us had figured out about that psychopath. He'd been keeping my little sister locked up in the upper cistern all that time. But he's been dealt with. He's... Uh, you know what? The important thing is, we'll never see him again. Good. What are you doing with yourself these days? Anything I want. I'm a woman of means in a vast new world. I can go wherever and do whatever I please. Of course, I mostly just stay in my villa and have my servant Alexa summon things <laughs> for me, because it's just awful out there. Barbarians everywhere. <laughs> Y'all just really rich with the coins from Charon now? What happened to Sentius? He's still there, all alone. The last golden statue in the underworld. Trapped in a metal shell, slowly losing his mind until the end of time. Damn. Eternal torment. Just what he deserves, if you ask me. Honestly, I don't know if that. 
he took advantage of the golden rule, but it's not like he's the one who put it in place. So I know he did a lot of horrible things, but I'll, I also kind of feel like it might be a little bit too much, especially because we were saying that all humans make mistakes and maybe we should practice a little bit more forgiveness. Although saying that about someone who kidnapped his daughter in a cistern, yeah, we'll see what she says. That seems a bit excessive, don't you think? Meh, I try not to think about him at all. <laughs> if you ask Galerius, or like, you know, someone kinder, maybe sh maybe they'd agree. But not Cynthia. It was good to see you again, Cynthia. You too. See you around. Wow. Georgius! Hey, foreigner! Greetings. You must be the legendary oracle. It is a sincere privilege to finally make your acquaintance. I am Georgius. Good to see you too, Georgius. I am told we have you to thank for freeing us from Hades. And for that, I am most grateful. What are you doing with yourself these days? I am reacquainting myself with Greece. It has changed so much over the last 2000 years, I barely recognize it. This is at once heartbreaking Hello. and thrilling. Perhaps one day, once I have seen all of this new Greece and sampled her delights, I will settle down in Sandorini in a villa overlooking the Azure Aegean Sea. I hope you will join me there and regale me with the story of how you faced off against the fearsome god of the underworld and won. Consider me there. It was good to see you again, Georgius. You too, my friend. Everyone's doing well. Fabia! You're the one we've been waiting for. Who said in the back? I'm Fabia. <laughs> Hi, Fabia. I wanted to say thanks for sending Galerius to save my life. I don't know how you knew, but I would have been crushed by that shrine for sure. You're welcome. I'm just so happy to be here with you and everyone together again, even if it's just for one more night. No, we can have a gathering every year or so. That'd be cool. What are you doing with yourself these days? Well, it's not like I have to work with all the silver Karen gave me, so I just do what makes me happy. Damn. Mostly that means baking for my friends and looking at memes while binging TV shows in yoga pants. <laughs> what a time to be alive. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy. Thank you. I really am. You all deserve it after all that torture and suffering. It was good to see you, Fabia. You too. Although it's really sad that everybody here doesn't have any family anymore. They were living in that city for seven months, not long enough to forget about their family. Oh my god! Even you're here! I take it you're the oracle everybody's talking about. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. We've met before, though I wouldn't expect you to remember it. We have. I'm sorry, I don't remember. In any case, I'm Philip. I never thought I'd leave that cave, let alone the city. And now I'm living in the 21st century. What a time to be alive. And it seems I have your catabasis to thank for it. What are you doing with yourself these days? I'm working as a consultant to the Faculty of Classics at Cambridge University, helping fill the odd gap in their knowledge. Not that I need the money, but I do love being around enlightened minds again. I think people, uh, some of you were saying in the comments that something he said before in the conversation gave away that he's Plato. So, Philip, Plato, makes sense. It was good to see you again. My sincere thanks once again. Nice, nice. Who the hell even- Oh Hello. god, it's Decius. Some soiree, innit? Why, why do we save this guy? <laughs> Please keep off the furniture. Even clean hands can damage the fragile surfaces of these rare pieces. <sighs> this is not your home, man. Oh, hello at last. What's he leaning on? the oracle I've heard so much about. I'm Dacius. Hi, Dacius. Listen, I wanted to express my sincere appreciation for what you did. If it wasn't for you, I'd never been able to sell all those useless old relics I accumulated. Whatever you did in that temple made me a very wealthy man. Thank you. No need to thank me. It was entirely unintended. Such a serbic wit. I love it. <laughs> what are you doing with yourself these days? 
I took the money I made from selling my trinkets and started investing in the stock market. That's where the real money is now. In fact, I was hoping to ask your advice, you being the oracle and future seer and all that, on which stocks I should invest in next. I can't decide between fossil fuels, tobacco, gambling and arms. What would you recommend? I would recommend fossil fuels. Yeah, I think that's gonna last for a really long time and you'd make a lot of money selling that. I can't really see the future, I'm afraid. Oh, don't be like that. You can tell your old pal, Dacius. I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> well, I think that print media is going to make a big comeback. Oh, of course, yeah. I was just thinking the same thing. I'll go home and buy up as much stock as I can tonight. I'm going to make a bloody fortune. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be going now. Of course, don't let me keep you. Thanks again for the tips, my friend. We didn't get the prompt saying it was nice to see him. <laughs> Good evening. Livia. Greetings. Good to see you looking well, Livia. Thank you for your kind words and for liberating Hello, us Sam. all. In all the time I was in the underworld, I never once imagined that I might end up in a place so much like Elysium. What are you doing with yourself these days? I'm recovering. Octavia was kind enough to let me stay with her for a while. At least until I'm well enough to be independent again. Read any good poems lately? Ah, you remember that. I'm a little tired of Ovid, but that's all right. I have 2,000 years worth of poetry to catch up on now. I'm already up to the 19th century and am quite enjoying the work of a fellow named Poe. I think I may have found a kindred spirit. Men have called me mad, but the question is not yet settled whether madness is or is not the loftiest intelligence. Hm. Well said. It was good to see you again, Livia. And you. Farewell, friend. I wish we had a little bit more, like, customized response as opposed to just, you know, Oh, well said. Uh, good, to good to hear. Blah, blah. Octavia! Oh, hello. It's lovely to meet you. I've heard so much about you. Nice to meet you too, Octavia. I'm thankful that you're here. I was sure the person who drove off the last pagan god would have more important things to do than visit the likes of us. But thank you for coming and for saving our lives. What you did was extraordinary, and I'll never forget it. What are you doing these days? I'm living in Rome again, in a charming oh. little flat by the Tiber. I'm not far from my old place. Oh, and I'm training to be a crisis counsellor. After you sent Galerius to persuade Ulpius not to take his own life, I was inspired. I just want to spend the rest of my life helping people, like you helped him. Sounds like a noble cause. Good on you. Thank you. That means a lot. Good to see you again, Octavia. And you. Good, good. Wow, were there this many people in town? Holy crap, there's so many. <laughs> statue of Anubis. An ancient statue of Anubis, the ancient Egyptian god of mummification and embalming, among other things. What is up? Statue. What is up? Kurti. A statue of Kurti, the Egyptian ram headed deity believed by the Egyptians to ferry the deceased to the underworld. He is associated with death and Osiris, the god of the underworld. This must be the man in the ram headdress who Kabash saw when he awoke by the river. So you saw someone in a ram headdress named Kurti and you didn't make the connection? It's worse than me. <laughs> what is up? It is an honor to finally meet you, Oracle. Thanks, Kabash. You know my name? Oh, of course. You are an Oracle. You know many things. I too would like to offer my thanks for releasing us from that place and for your role in bringing us here. This world is truly wondrous. What are you doing with yourself these days? For a time, I returned to Alexandria, but they have no need of another fisherman. And I came to see there is nothing for me there. Instead, I have decided to follow the custom of your youths and backpack the world, 
It is a great adventure, and I have met many people from many cultures. I spent the first 25 years of my life avoiding the 42 sins that would deny me access to the afterlife. Now, I think it is time I had some fun. Sounds like you've earned it. Indeed. It's good to see you. Thank you, Oracle. Everyone's doing well. Hi. Hello there. Santilla. Hi. Oh, I go by Gabriella now. I didn't want to be reminded of that monster every time I heard my own name. After you drove Pluto off, Proserpina came and released me. And that monster got what was coming to him. Sounds like he got what he deserved. Mm hmm. What are you doing with yourself these days? I'm living with Ulpius on a little vineyard in Umbria. Oh. It's even more wonderful than I dreamed it would be. I'm so grateful to you for making sure he's still with us. If you're ever passing through the region, I hope you'll come and visit us. You can try some of our very own wine. I might just do that. It was good to see you again, Gabriella. Thanks. You too. Oh. They feel like they remember all the conversations that we've had and all the time that we spent with them, even though they don't actually. Kumut Tabal. An ancient Sumerian statue of Kumut Tabal, the bird headed deity who was said to help the, the dead cross the Kuba River to the underworld. Opius, looking good. It's nice to finally put a face to the name. I'm Opius. Good to see you too, Opius. I understand I have you to thank for sending Galerius to save my life. The way you just showed up out of the blue and stopped me from making a terrible mistake, I'll be forever in your debt. What are you doing these days? I'm living with Gabriella in Umbria. We Gabriella and Elpius. the little <laughs> vineyard we always dreamed of. It'll be a little while before we know what we're doing, but every day I look at her and this extraordinary new world with all its beauty and I think what if I'd given up hope and missed out on all of this so we're living each day to the fullest and we end them all the same way sitting together on our terrace with a glass of our wine which the locals say is almost drinkable now and watching the sunset over the rolling hillside and I couldn't be happier. I'm glad to hear you're happy. Thank you. I wouldn't be here without you. It was good to see you, Alpius. You too. Good, good. Rufius and Virgil. Hello. Nergal, Sumerian statue of Nergal, the Mesopotamian god of the dead and the underworld. Yeah, you look a little bit too much nice like to meet you. Pluto. <laughs> Good to see you too, Rufius. You too. What did you say your name was? I go by Rufus now. New start, new name. Oh, and uh, thanks, by the way, for what you did. Sorry, I'm no good with the mushy stuff. That's okay. What are you doing these days? I live with Virgil in Rotterdam, not far from where he grew up. It's very modern. Destroyed in the war and it rebuilt itself. Good place for a fresh start. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with my life yet. Hmm. One adjustment at a time. I hadn't even clued in that's why they were standing together. That character development, going from homophobe to full homo. <laughs> Turns out you were right. The statues really were watching us. Huh. Good to know. Anyway, it was good practice for the new world. Security cameras and smartphones everywhere. Got to stay vigilant. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Mm. It's good to see you again, Rufus. You too. Look us up next time you're in the Netherlands. I'm... We're grateful. Glad to hear you're not being afflicted by your uh, rheumatism anymore. Hello! 
Hi, Virgil. It's so nice to finally meet you. I've heard so much about you. Good to see you, Virgil. I wanted to thank you personally for getting us out of there. And for helping Rufus come to terms with himself. He may come off a little gruff, but once you get past that, he's a lovely fellow. What are you doing these days? I'm studying to be an architect again and mm. living with Rufus in a beautiful flat in Rotterdam, just down the river from Nijmegen, where I grew up. Of course, it's improved immensely since I was there last. Gleaming futuristic buildings and clean streets full of educated, accepting people. You natives of the 21st century have no idea how fortunate you are. Yeah, huh? It was good to see you again, Virgil. You too. As Rufus said in his own laconic way, if you're ever in the Netherlands, we'd love to show you around. It's the least we could do. I might just take you up on that. You're paying, right? Hi. All of you are paying. That's what I'm assuming. Oh god. Dice Tower. Venny. If it carry. Oh, a Latin plaque which reads All must walk this path to where the laws of day help the virtuous to paradise in the city beneath the earth. The ravenous hunger of the avaricious is sated at the banks of the stream, but in vain, for none from here may return. Hmm. Nobody will come back to this place. Oh, the Christian stuff, Christian carving. Ichthys. Carved into it. Greek symbol adopted by early Christians as a secret symbol of their faith. Because being Christian was not as accepted back then. Or accepted at all. War World of Wonders. The language and sculpture of the great Egyptians. March 2nd... 2nd to the 28th. Art of the Greeks, Enduring Secrets of the Great Artists of the Ancient World, June 9th to the 22nd. How are we getting all these exhibits here at the same time? <laughs> the many- oh god. No. No longer. All the medical tools. Oh, there's people down there. Hades, Lord of Many, the Obelisk, Liar. Oh god, the way that head tilt is a little bit unnatural. Reminds me of the golden statues. But the other golden statues, I guess we couldn't do anything about it. Ancient Secrets, Lost to the Ages, A World Discovered Again. Gods of Many, Defining the Morals of Roman Gods, July 12th to 26th. The sins of the one shall become the suffering of the many. Oh, the Sumerian one reads a little bit differently. <laughs> it's like hieroglyphic-y. Sumerian object. Strange stone object in the shape of a suitcase. We'll probably never know what this was for. Huh. It's like a lock. Really big lock. Nurgle, the fierce one. It's a shame that we don't get to meet Pro Serpina, though. That would have been nice to, um... Yeah, especially since she was whispering to us the whole time. There you are. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, there's one more person I wanted to introduce <gasps> you to. I think you know her. God! <laughs> Sorry if I frightened you. Just a little joke I've been saving for a long, long time. I recognize that voice! Allow me to introduce myself properly. I am Proserpina, former goddess of the cycle of life and renewal, and now a regular mortal. I wanted to meet you in person, and thank you for freeing all these people, and me. I hate to think what would have happened to us without your intervention. You were whispering to me all along? Indeed. Suffice it to say that while Pluto was controlling the eyes and ears of each golden statue, I was able to control their tongues and whisper to you when he was distracted. I am sorry my messages were so cryptic. There were only ever 
brief windows in which I could speak to you without being detected. You did what you could. Thank you. You created the time loop? I did. I may have given up my immortality, but I still retain my gifts as the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. After witnessing Pluto punish countless poor souls over thousands of years, I knew this generation, the final wave, would not survive. So I tried to give them a way to buy more time. A second chance. Rather as many second chances as they needed to avoid his wrath. So I whispered to Sentius in secret, telling him the prayer required to create a portal in my shrine. I knew the danger of humans being corrupted by godly power, and so I put a safeguard in place. I required the creator of the portal to sacrifice their own life, so that it could only be used selflessly to help others. What I did not anticipate is that Sentius would retain his accumulated memories from each previous day, and as a veteran soldier, he had long since shed his fear of death. He quickly discovered that he could, in effect, prolong his own life indefinitely by exploiting the cycle. Of course, once I had taught him the prayer, I could not unteach him. And there was little I could do but wait for someone like you to come along and see him for what he was. We were all fortunate you came along when you did. The other problem with that is that a selfish person would just never use the loop. So you telling a human that just wasn't that great of an idea to begin with. But hey, it all worked out. What became of Pluto? I don't know what happened to him. I haven't heard from him, and I rather hope it stays that way. What became of Charon? Oh, she inherited dominion over the underworld. Oh! Last time we spoke, she was working on a new world of some kind. She wouldn't say what it was, but I'd be surprised if you don't run into her again. I imagine we all will, one day. Yeah, when it's really our time. It was nice meeting you. And you, although it feels like I've known you forever. Oh, one yeah. last thing. Do you remember all those golden statues scattered throughout the city? <gasps> Is it the people below? Of course. Good, because they remember you. Well done, my friend. Of all oh. the heroes who ever journeyed to the underworld in return, none came close to achieving what you did. Hercules, Orpheus, Theseus and Aeneas would be proud. It's a statue of me in the middle. Oh. Okay, that was like literally perfect from a trying to do good things perspective. All the good things happen to the good people. All the bad things happen to the bad people. <laughs> To be honest, I think it's um, it's a very self-indulgent ending, but you know what? We worked hard for it, so I'll allow it. I'll allow it. <laughs> wow, this was a crazy adventure, huh? I'm really glad I came back to it, though. Uh, and I'm also glad that the developers lifted their policy of not allowing the ending to be seen because beyond the white hallway, that's where the, the meat really was, right? Everything else was leading up to this point. And so it was really crucial that we had this. Wow. The voice acting. The voice acting in this game, I think, is really good. There were several times when people were sad that I thought, wow, that just sounds so genuine and... Sentius being an evil dude and all that. Mm hmm. The ending, I don't know, a bit of like a debate with Pluto. So I read a little bit that this game was penned, uh, the, the story was penned by someone who was a lawyer who quit their job to make this game. And I think it shows because the um, very honing in very precisely on the definition of words definitely feels like a very lawyer thing to do. And it was interesting. It was interesting. Uh -huh. I think my overall impressions of this game is that it's a very good game on the precipice of becoming excellent, but it's not quite there because of reasons here and there, mostly to do with the technical side. I think on the story side, this was a it's a pretty engaging story and I, I loved playing every minute of it. Although here and there, there were a few things that were kind of like, huh, like the whole homophobic gay person stereotype. But generally, yeah, it was it was good. 
There were a few spots where I thought they were gonna give me a hint, but then it kind of turned out to be nothing, which I thought was a little bit strange, but maybe I was the only one who thought that. For example, when Equitia was telling us about the plaques and she was like, oh, I don't know what the fourth plaque is, I thought it was gonna be some crazy, insane plot twist. But then we just kind of casually learned that it's the Sumerians, which I, I guess is kind of a shock? Uh, not really. Not really. It's because to us, to somebody living in the modern age, it's just the name of another civilization, right? So I feel like that was a bit of um, a mismatch in expectations for what the fourth plaque really was gonna be. But yeah, these things didn't really affect my enjoyment of the overall game. Technically though, I feel like... Well, we've already seen the beginning of my playthrough, which I feel like was kind of disastrous because we we ended up doing a lot of things or triggering things in a way that the game didn't really account for, I guess. I feel like if we talk about time loop games, especially ones that have been covered on this channel, Outer Wilds is going to be a pretty common thing that comes up. And in comparison to something like Outer Wilds, I feel like Forgotten City might even be more technically complex to pull off. Because Outer Wilds, all the knowledge happens within the player. And nothing about the game itself really needs to change, except for triggering, uh, adding stuff to the ship log. But in Forgotten City, there's a lot more flags to do with, oh, if the player has heard this part already, or if they've discovered this thing already, then show this dialogue option. And I feel like that also sort of leads to a bit of um, a thing happening with the gameplay section where it felt like we weren't really solving things as opposed to the game just feeding the answers to us. Because sometimes, maybe I wouldn't have even thought of something yet, but because the dialogue option is present, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that's a thing now. Just like how before we turn off the quest updates, it just told me to do this stuff sometimes, whereas I would prefer to think of it. And then maybe if I if I can't think of it, then it would give me a hint later on. So, yeah, little things here and there. I believe this game was originally a Skyrim mod too, which I think, well, for better or worse, it did show. And I do feel like that might be a limitation, which is a bit of a shame because now it's a standalone game, but I still get that Skyrim, like, talking to characters, individual dialogue, pausing the whole screen sort of feel from it. And Skyrim is a 10-year-old game this year, last gen. Two gens ago, actually. So it feels a bit like a missed opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I understand that this is probably because the team is really, really small. It's like three people in the core of the whole thing. So for what it's worth, I don't think, like, like I said, I say these things, but it's not like it affected my enjoyment of it. So I think at the end of the day, that's the important thing. But... I also can't help but feel like, oh, if they had the resources to do this and that, then this would be talked about by a lot more people. Which I would really love, because I think this is a really interesting game. Mm -hmm. I thought I didn't really care about the characters individually. Like I said earlier, hey, you no know, Galeris and Equitia getting together, that's a reason for me to really solve this problem. But by the end there, it really was a nice surprise to be able to see everyone. And all's well that ends well is the best way to describe this ending. I definitely want to keep some tabs on what these guys do in the future because there was so much potential here that I would really love to see more from them. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed this lots and I hope you did as well. Thank you so much for joining me. This was Wellens with a playthrough of The Forgotten City. Do feel free to share any thoughts you have on the game in the comments and I will see you all in another place in another time. Hopefully not 2000 years in the past. Bye! <laughs>